What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in Moyers UK. Now I did a little bit of mining uh, off camera after the last episode. Not a whole lot. Um, I just went and got a little bit of iron so we could get some more steel going. And as you can see we are rolling out a pretty decent amount of steel. Not a ton, but it is rolling out pretty good. So that's a good start at least. Um, it always could, could be better. So, you know kind of is what it is there but anyway today what we're going to do is we're going to head out we're going to do a little bit of looting and i'm going to take uh take a couple jailbreakers with me take a couple loot candies because we're going to go out we're going to hit up some houses so we're also going to need our lock picks which are in here or do we not we might not even have any yet do we i'm not even sure to be honest I don't know if we had lockpicks or not, or might be in the bike too yet. Uh, I think we have to clean out the bike of a little bit of stuff yet. Uh, so anyway, yeah, like I said, I went and got some, got some rock, got some iron. I set up the chests here. We're still gonna have to set up a whole nother row of blocks yet and get them upgraded, and we can put signs up behind them. But so far, so good. Beginning of day four, uh, probably tomorrow in game, will be. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me we'll be starting our horde base now our horde base isn't going to be like super extravagant um at least to start with it's going to be just more more simplistic but we'll add on it as we go and and make it uh make it better so it's just going to be something kind of simple to start with but anyway our sand is it's coming out now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of this rock and some of the uh, cement here, and we're going to go ahead and queue up as much of this as we can get going, because that's going to take forever. Uh, ideally, I'd like to have mm, an, at least one more cement mixer, and at least, oh, three, three chemistry stations, I think would do just fine. So, anyway, what we're going to also do is we can go ahead and toss the rest of this stuff right into this uh, forge here and get this going. So, whoops, how about not on the ground? I don't know, just try to split it up close to evenly. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but good enough there. And we're going to check out what's in the bike. I thought I had a couple lock picks, but I might, might be wrong, too. We might have... We might have left them in that one chest as well, so. Oh, that's right. Um, if you're over like 35 encumbered, as you can see, you can't even move. I'm holding forward, now I'm holding shift to try to sprint. And yeah, you can't move, so, you know, it's not, not too horribly big of a deal. But just go ahead and drop a couple things like this. And I believe it's at 35, you can slightly move, as you can see here. So, yeah, it's the the overweight system is can be a little bit gnarly on here at some times, but you know it's not too big of a deal. We're close enough to everything now. We can just go ahead and oops, I just put all my candies away. Oh well. Anyway, gonna go ahead and drop everything off in here. We don't have too much stuff, but again, it's got to be all sorted out and put in its. Put in its spots upstairs because it's just kind of a kind of a shit mess at the moment if i do say so myself it's pretty pretty bad um everything is kind of just wherever where it, wherever it lands i guess at the moment so i don't really don't really like that too much but well same time there's not a whole lot we can do about it so go ahead and Gonna get rid of some stuff and just make some room here for this. And what else do we want to get rid of here? Um, just get rid of them. That's good enough. Go ahead and drop them off. And we can actually just save them for now. Actually, we can put them in with our crafting stuff. So yeah, that should be good for now. Um, candies. I, d I accidentally dropped them off. We're going to need two of them, and we're going to need two of these. And we'll find lockpicks while we're out looting, so I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, what we're going to work on today is we got a couple uh, Tier 2 clears. So we're going to go, and we're going to head over to 
the house and also the tank garage we're going to start with the tank garage just because it's a it's a little bit bigger um another thing we're going to do is we're going to try to find some more animals we need to kill i think it's 18 yet yeah 18 more animals so we need to do that that way we can get on to the uh the actual hd gun quests themselves so you'll have to do quests for killing with an hd pistol um hd shotgun hd sniper rifle and hd uh, ar so not not specifically in that order either i think it goes pistol shotgun ar and sniper is the last one which i do have a lot of fun killing with the sniper rifle it's just a little bit more of a challenge but challenge is always is always good so anyway we are here this is the tank garage we're gonna go through and we're gonna uh, clear the place out and then we're gonna I just want to get some XP off the zombies is what I'm going for so sneak up with the club hmm, club works pretty darn good oh yeah big hit come on bam love it so this club's not too bad it looks a little bit funky but oh he woke up I was gonna give him a little whack with the with the bow splat oh man oh there's a deer too we gotta kill that here in a minute she ain't dead of course she's not dead good she now I wish that deer would come this way oh it steers like almost dead what are you doing What the hell is the thing doing? Would you just look? I don't even know. I'll just put it that way. I just don't even freaking know. That was just weird. I think there's a stumpy over there. Other side of the pumps. Yep, there he is. Now these gas pumps are a little bit messed up. Uh, you can't actually loot them. So, I don't know if there's like any sort of special way to interact with these. But they're like not even there. So, anyway, I want this deer quick. I'm going to go ahead and kill this. As soon as it stops. From that far away, really? Okay, well, you know what? We're going to run it down with the shotgun then. Run it down. Oh, I missed. There we go. Shouldn't have ran away, damn deer. I just wanted to kill you. Yeah, 40 animals for the quest isn't really too tough to do. The animals are absolutely everywhere. Um, chickens and the hogs are probably the easiest. Well, actually, probably the easiest to kill would be the zombie dogs because they come running right to you. So, Anyway, that's about it. So we're just going to go ahead and reset this thing, and then we're going to get started on it. No, no double looting it. Just going to go through and, and just loot it one time and be done with it. So... Go ahead and do it again clear around the outside and we're going to clear the inside and we're going to loot from there so two for one i think i woke i think i woke a couple of them up I love the shotgun. The shotguns are like just awesome on here. Can't say it enough. The shotguns are just fantastic. Ooh, he jumped down. Here we go. Even from a range, if you hit that head, that head comes off. So let's go around the outside and just finish clearing these guys. Oops. Come on, cat. Good. Whoops, miss. That's my own fault. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Oh. Hmm. Not sure where that guy survived from, but here's somebody in the grass. Thought I did. Oh, there she is. 
trying to figure out where the hell she was at. All right, so we got one here. I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little helping hand. And there's one more, as far as the dots go, that we can tell for sure. Beautiful. Now, there should be a couple in the back here yet, because they w would not have woken up. So, to the left, where are you at? Find door number one. Yep. And that's not it. Not even it yet. Still somebody else. Oh, they're behind door number two. Oh. Beautiful. So that's the place cleared. What I like to do is I always like to clear the place completely out before I even start looting. That way, once you pop your loot candy, you don't have to worry about dealing with any of the zombies. Uh, it just it just works out a lot better that way. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start outside here. And we're going to grab the loot candy and then hit up the bags that fell uh, off the zombies. And then go from there. So... Now, unfortunately, we have not yet found ourselves a rucksack upgrade. Um, it just is what it is. I mean, I, I'm really hoping we do find one pretty soon because that extra 15 slots would be fantastic. But so far, we just have not had the luck. But hopefully soon. And we got our lock picks, so we should be, should be good there now. I was going to say, it shouldn't take long to find them. Oof. We're already getting pretty pretty heavy. I think what we're going to end up having to do... Uh, so we're probably going to have to end up taking a point or two into Pack Mule. Because... Yeah, it's just... It's just going to be too much to be encumbered this much all the time. So I'm just going to use the, bis the bicycle and I'm going to basically drive around the building. I'm going to offload into it in a minute here. And no rucksack upgrade. Darn it. You sit yourself down. Alright, what was this quest? Blitz defense? Nah. I don't think I really uh, see myself working on the uh, those quests too much on here. Just because it's not the fact that I don't want to do them. It's the fact that, you know, they're just optional. They don't give much for rewards other than just a little bit of XP. So, you know, we got... We got plenty of other things we can we can set ourselves to doing, and that'll net us some pretty pretty good rewards. Like we got tons of class questing to do yet. Um, speaking of class questing, we do have to visit the trader and see what we can get as far as uh, what was it we needed. Uh, one more large beef ration, I believe it was, and then we can do the first cook cook quest so that'd be fantastic to get to get started on them um it is nice to have the food so more than willing to get them done obviously you can find quite a bit of food just looting but it's always nice to to get more that way you know you're just good to go and honestly you can really never have too much food so is that a beef ration or was that like chicken chicken that's what I thought, but because if you're looking for beef, you're going to get chicken or lamb, I guess. I guess you could get lamb, too. So either way, you're not going to get the one you want. You're going to get the you're going to get something you don't quite need. So we might end up actually needing two loot candies for this because of being encumbered like this. But our bike is over around here. So let's go out and do a little offload quick. And then we'll get right back to it again. So I, I'm kind of curious to uh, that building across the street there. I'm kind of curious to see uh, what that place is all about. I've I've noticed it driving around, and I'm not sure what exactly might be in it, but it does interest me because it's a shotgun messiah building, and it looks kind of like it's some some sort of range, um, like a little gun range. But I'm curious to see. What would be in there but we'll have to oh hey hd chainsaw 
That's one of them we need. We need the auger one though. Auger one's more important, to be honest. It's way more important, so. Scrap that bone knife. Yeah, I'd much rather have the auger. I use the auger way more than I do the chainsaw. So as you guys can see, we still have an ax on us. I mean, I'm not in any way, shape, or form concerned about using the chainsaw simply because we just just don't do as much wood harvesting on here as as we do like ores and stuff like that so locked not anymore get the sink little wrench no steroids that's a shame chop the door all the way out there we go like to get my brass doorknobs, so. Nothing there. More food? Man, there's tons of food here. And there's a wooden club, which, meh. See you later. It's a shame, too, because you see a nice grade 6 item like that, and you go, man, that's nice. But then again, no, it's not. <laughs> so, yeah. It's kind of a shame when you find a grade 6 Stone Age item, I'll call them. Um, it just just kind of hurts that you end up getting one of them but anyway we've got a bit more to go uh we do need to drop some stuff off so let's just chisel our way right out there works easier and we don't have to walk around but yeah so far so good as far as loot goes i mean i can't complain too much we're getting the, we're getting some decent stuff some lock picks some nice bit of brass we got our uh HD chainsaw schematic so that was fantastic the one schematic that we do need to find that we might not necessarily have to use but well okay let me put it this way um, in order to unlock like the HD blade traps um, you need to read the blade trap schematic so it doesn't matter if you've already if you've already unlocked blade traps through advanced engineering if you want the HD ones you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna have to read that so you know we got to find that and we need to actually pop another loot candy I just realized I forgot to do that so I'm gonna open all these up quick and we're gonna chop that out of there take these and then we'll pop our our loot candy we're gonna have to stop back to base and grab another one though because Thought we might be able to get through this quick enough, but unfortunately we didn't. We were a little bit, a little bit slow on it. I think if we had started back here and left the stuff outside, that would have been just fine. But you know, I decided to start in the wrong spot. But oh well, it's what it is. Just get rid of them doors. And yeah, good stone tools. Unfortunately, we are not in need of them again it's kind of a shame when you find them because you see grade six and you're like ooh but no <laughs> nope all right what do we got i already know that i guess we could use that probably won't end up making it i'm not i'm not huge on the sledgehammer to be honest but and we got steel sledgehammer which we actually need that for quest so that one that one will be just fine. Get that one. Yep. All right. I think that's everything here. Nope. We didn't get back here. Oh, man. You're killing me with all these grade six Stone Age things here. You can say there should be a safe. And there is. So, we'll go ahead and knock them out quick. And... We really don't need the lock picks per se. I mean, we could just go ahead and chainsaw through it. But I figured I'd show you guys the, the jailbreakers being we have them. I don't even have my lock picks on me, do I? They're in the bike. Oh well, we get 10 minutes with the lock pick thing, so I'm not too worried about it. Not like the loot one. The loot one, you only get 5 minutes. Jailbreakers, you get 10, so not as big of a deal. But let's drop all this extra stuff off here. We did get that UAZ chassis. Uh, that will be interesting to try out, but... Okay, so my plan is with the vehicles, uh, I do want to I do wanna consider using all of them um, at some point, or actually rather making them and just, you know, playing around with them, I guess. Uh, but 
a matter of finding all the parts for them. Now, the parts aren't too terribly hard to come by. If you stumble across a, a Warriors UK bike repair shop, you can easily get tons of them. So, anyway, check this out. And military armor one, all right. And some Desert Eagle 50. Beautiful. All right, that's it for this place now. Now we just got to head ourselves back to base. Grab ourselves another loot candy and oop, kill this guy here quick too. There we go. He is moving kind of quick for just a normal zombie. Oh, I love how I love how fast the bike is with the turbo mod in it. Man, you can just move. I mean, look at this. We're just streaking through here. So I love the new mods that he put in. I, I'm really a fan of the new uh, armor plating mods too, giving as much armor bonus as they do, because then you can use some some lesser armor and get away with it without much without much issue. So another loot candy. We're actually gonna just take two of them just in case. And can we drop any of this off in here? Okay, good enough. We'll put the other three pieces in the bike. Not too concerned about them. Our bike's going to be pretty full when we're done anyway. I think we're good. Alright, so where is the next one? Next one is the diner. So, no, no. That's the tier one, isn't it? Tier one's the diner. That's right. Okay, so the tier two is the one we're after, which is the house. Right down over here. I don't know why, but I thought the... I thought the diner was a tier two for some reason. Eh, oh well, not a big deal. We'll still probably end up clearing it because it'll be a good spot for finding the food for the quest and stuff anyway. So, anyway, we are here. Um, can't say I remember this POI. Slightly, but I'm I'm not 100% sure on it. So, let's just get right on in there and see what we can do. So. Just going to go through, and to start with, we're just going to go through and clear. We got our uh, nerdy goggles on, so just going to sweep on through the zombies and then come back to loot when we're done. Can I not get through there? Okay, I was going to say, I ought to be able to. Another one. Go through here. Keep your mercy given self down. There, zombie. Nobody in here. All right. Head on downstairs. Miss the first one. Get both with the second one. I guess that does that make up for my terrible shooting or not really. Take him out quick. Anybody home? Nope. All right. Now we got to head down. That must go to outside. Little basement. Here we go. Oh, he moved just as I shot. I hate that. It's like you got a good shot lined up, and then they, then they duck it. Nobody back there. All right. And nobody's up above. Oh. That was kind of a little surprising. Damn. Were we supposed to fall down in there at some point? Hmm. Interesting. A little bit surprising. There we go. So now, where's the main, oh, the main loot's over here. I see. We're gonna make sure we get into that first. Oh, come on. All right. We'll get up right over here and walk around. Oh, all right. 
All right, game. Place it, thank you. We got our loot candy on us. Should we go grab our steroid, do you think? I think we might do that and then we can just go through the whole place. Yeah, that might actually be a better idea. Let's go grab that quick and then we can, whoops, gotta go this way. And we can get through everything and not have to worry about making trips back and forth all tight because that's kind of a pain in the ass. So, through the door we go, like so. And let's grab ourselves a steroid. Should have one in here at least. There it is. And yes, we do. Just one. Oops. Got to remember where I'm going. Oh, come on. Jump. All right. So, first things first. Pop the steroid, put them on, eat the candy. And not too bad, scrap the pistol, we'll sell the blunderbuss. And ooh, that's a lot better than our bow, so we'll definitely be using that. Nice first aid bandage. Hmm, nothing too special in there, can't search the desk, can we? Okay, had to make sure. Scrap the pistols, not going to keep grade one, grade one guns, it's grade one, we'll just get rid of it. Oh, come on, get up there, thank you. Alright, work our way on through the rest of the place and see what we end up with. Might as well search all these and, and pick them up while we're here. Do we really need the extra paper and polymer though? That's a good question. I guess it can't hurt to have it, because at the very least, we could just sell it, couldn't we? Whoops, let's actually search the damn thing first. There we go. Take that out. Nothing back there. Alright, keep on a going. Not going to do really any of the salvaging and stuff like that right now. We could go ahead and pop the door off for the handle, uh, but other than that, you know, I'm not going to really go through and take the ratchet to anything right now. We're just going to try to scoot through everything as quick as possible with our loot candy on, and then come back through and do the salvaging afterwards. So let's keep on moving here, and there's a safe. Whoops, is there anything back in here? Probably shot, shot whatever it was out there. Probably like a, uh, what you call it, a garments bag. And we probably destroyed it when I shot the thing. So, oh well. Not a big deal. It's just clothes. Um, up we go now. Oh, we're thirsty. That's okay. We'll fix that up in a minute. We got, pretty sure we have some pure, wa pure mineral water in the, um, in the bike. So, power attacks to the leg slow enemies, okay. But if we're gonna keep going with, uh, um, with, like, the club, that might come in handy. So, alright, we'll come back to that in just a minute here. That's our way back to the garage, where we're gonna finish up. And we still got two minutes left on the loot candy, so we should be good there. Ooh, gyrocopter accessories, okay. Now... Me and the gyrocopter, meh, I don't know, I don't know. I know the gyrocopter is pretty good, it's great for getting around quick, and you can basically take it anywhere if you know how to fly it, but I, however, do not know how to fly it, so, you know, there is that problem. Oh shit, I screwed that up, I thought I already had it, oh well. We got... We got a decent amount of it, so my mistake, but I thought we had already cleared it. Get through there, thank you. Nothing up here? Nope, okay. Drop right on down. That up. Take that. Now 
Not much of anything in the refrigerator. And can we get to that one? There we go. Toolbox. Okay, some steel tool parts. And that's about it for here. So yeah, we can go through and go clear up the rest of the salvage stuff quick. Which I'm gonna, which I'll do off camera. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through that. Uh, but I thought I had pure water. There it is. I was pretty sure I did, but I might be losing my mind. It's been known to happen. We will take this challenge, um, like the killing, the animal killing challenges. We will do them because obviously you're just going to be doing them pretty much anyway. So you might as well take advantage of them and work on them as well. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and equip our new bow here in a minute and get our mod swapped over to it. Ooh, our bike is full, though. Hmm. Splint, don't care. Scrap these down for the parts. Toss all that in there. All right, so now our bow. Go ahead and pop that one out. Modify that. Just an arrow rest mod. I mean, it's nothing special. I think we got a polymer string mod. Um, we could throw in it back at our... Uh, back at our base, so go ahead and take that challenge up, reload this. And all right, guys, I'm going to go through and salvage everything down, then I'll meet you guys back at the trader, and we'll go and hand them in. All right, so we actually had an airdrop come down while we were working on salvaging stuff up. Now, all I basically did was go through, grab, like, the doorknobs, harvest up the beds, that, that kind of thing. So there really wasn't anything uh, super special about it. Just wanted to go through and... Get all that lovely bits of brass and stuff like that. So we had it. But yeah, the airdrop came down pretty damn close by too. So I was pretty impressed with that. Normally it can be quite a ways away. Now sometimes these airdrops are absolutely fantastic. Other times they can be kind of crappy. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to take a couple points into Lucky Looter here while we have them. And we're going to take another one into Salvage Operations because I actually forgot to take that. Um, but I think we're good on Intellect for a while. And basically strength is going to be the only other one we could really, really want to do. But we do want to check the trader for that, uh, um, uh, the hops. So if we got that, we could make the Warzuck stovey instead. But anyway, what do we get? We got a couple, f ooh, man, that was kind of crappy one. And I, okay, I guess it depends on what the flares give us. Because if the flares don't give us anything good... And yeah, it's just a crappy one. So find out here. Go ahead and put this back on. And yeah, that was junk. This ooh, the antibiotics though. Antibiotics were yeah, antibiotics were worth it. But anyway, let's go hand these in. See what we get out of them. And then we're gonna, like I said, we also got to see if we can find some hops. First trader here, what do we have to sell? We might as well sell off what we don't need, like these. For instance, I'm just gonna sell off like the schematics and stuff that we already know, the wire tool. Go ahead and sell that as well. Um, we should have a pipe in here somewhere. Yeah, we're gonna give that a good repair. And that should be good enough for now. I mean, really not, not in need of too much. Actually, what we could do, wait, no, Never mind. We're not going to do that right now. Um, where's our blunderbuss? There it is. Go ahead and just repair that up. We can repair this, basically double what we're going to get for it. And put away everything that we're going to end up keeping here. So, all that sort of stuff. That, that. Well, I guess whatever is going to fit, we'll put in here. Because it's... Alright, I guess we were able to fit everything. So, it's at this person here. Go ahead on up. Something new. Here is your reward. Alright. Ooh, I think I'm gonna take the ammo, because that's a that's a nice nice chunk of ammo there. And I don't think we're gonna use the spear, so I'm gonna skip out on that. Um Let's go with the muzzle break mod. What else does he have here? So we got clear. I'm in a bit of a Thank you. Sure. I bet you wouldn't do this for I'll just see. Do you have in the wasteland. 
Any hops? No. No hops. Alright. That's unfortunate. It really is. Might as well check his might as well check his inventory while we're here, see if there's anything that jumps out at us and I doubt there will be, but sometimes you just gotta look. So anyway, I'm gonna go through the rest of the traders, see if they have like hops or anything good like that. And I'll be back to you guys to turn in the other uh the other quest. Okay, so I fell down in on the spikes, of course. And yeah. So dying to something like that at the trader, I knew was gonna eventually happen. I knew it was just a matter of time before we ended up falling down on them damn things. And yeah, it happened. So now we need to run back and get our bag. Man, that sucked. <laughs> I knew it was bound to happen eventually, just because of, of you know the spot. So yeah, now we got to sneak our way back and go get our bag, if we can even get a, our bag. That's another question: Are we going to be able to reach it? That's a good question. But yeah, I I knew it was bound to happen at that trader eventually. Just because of how it's set up and the fact that you can't place blocks or anything like that. But, yeah, we gotta make our way back now and go get that. I, like I said, I knew it was gonna happen. I was just a matter of time. And, yeah, it ended up happening. So, hopefully we don't run into anything on the way over there. Um, I didn't even think about that. I probably should have grabbed something at least, but... I wasn't thinking about that at the time. Just... I said I called it I knew it was coming eventually and sure enough it did it did yeah as soon as I jumped I knew I screwed up my jump too I knew I did and I knew what was coming so unfortunately I'm not sure I'm not sure if there's a way out well okay I'm sure there a way out of there would be like uh, increasing your jump height would be about the only way you could get out of there because it is two blocks deep and yeah we better be able to get our bag out of there i'm not very happy about that right now not very happy at all okay good we can actually get all our stuff back good 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 all right so now i need to finish up what i was doing i was actually coming coming back across to sell some more stuff to the trader because he has uh grade 5 ak that i wanted we sell so. only the best merchandise yeah not not too thrilled that that happened, but like I said, I've, I had to show you guys um, because I knew it was coming. Wait, it's not in here. It's in here, isn't it? Yep, there it is. So we're going to buy ourselves this AK for the Horde Knight. And yeah, unfortunately it happens. Like I, said, I, just, I just knew something was going to happen as soon as I jumped. I just knew it. I knew I screwed up. And I knew it was coming. So anyway, I'll get back to you guys again later. We got one more quest to turn in. I got to just check these guys' uh, guys inventory and get some more jobs as well. So up, jackass. You I'll be back to you guys in just a minute. All right, so we're at the we're at our other trader here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this in. And we'll definitely be taking the ammo and the antibiotics. So... Grab another job from him. We're gonna take. Let's go some buried treasure. That way we can uh, get some easy, quick questing done as well on the side. And see what he's got in here now. Gotta say, dying like that just triggered the hell out of me. That's that's such a shit way to die. <laughs> it is. It's such a shit way to die. I mean, you know, it'd be one thing. If zombies would have got a hold of me or something like that, but man, I don't know. Dying like that just just doesn't feel good at all. Uh, I won't lie. Dying like that just doesn't feel good at all. Anyway, that's our last beef ration that we needed. Um, nobody's got any hops that I've found so far, so unfortunately we're going to have to wait on that. Guess we should have grabbed the ones uh, right away at the beginning of the game because I'm pretty sure we had spawned next to some, but oh well, it's not a big deal. But yeah, anyway, 
So dying like that, it's kind of oh, you want a guarantee? Huh? Kind of well, bothers me a lot. Not very, not very happy about that whatsoever. It's just like I said, it's such a crummy way to die. You know, the fact that you fall into spikes out of traders like that. You can't put a block under you. You can't jump up out of there. You're just screwed. And yeah, that's exactly what happened to. We just couldn't get out and just screwed. Like I said, just screwed. No other way to put it. We were just. <laughs> It is what it is. So anyway, it happens. Um, it's not really a big deal. It's just not a great way to die, though. So not happy about it at all. Anyway, as far as the cooking quest goes now, um, let's get up here to it. So what we needed was that last beef ration can, because now we will have the 20 of them. Uh, we need our pears. Where are they? Here we go. We need our stock. There it is. And then we also need honey. And we need HD bowls. Now we do need to make up a couple HD bowls, which you can actually do on the campfire itself. So I'm pretty sure it's just clay and plant fiber. Um, HD bowls, clay and plant fiber. So we're gonna need a bunch of them, uh, but for now we're just gonna make the 10 up that we, that we need for this quest. So, oops, let me actually in and we'll let that go for a minute check on our cement cement's going pretty good it's almost halfway done so that ain't too bad at all how's this going okay good good go ahead and cue that up get that knocked out of there um yeah i suppose we could run the rest of that to get that done as well don't think we had anything going on the chem station oh yeah that's right didn't take the glue out so yeah we did okay you like that oh yeah we can't put that away now because we used up the slot didn't we so yeah i guess for now we'll just put it in here That'll do. And a few more seconds for that. Yeah, unfortunately, when you die like that, you end up with this little nasty debuff. You get experience setback. So you gotta, well, as it says, basically gain experience to work off the debt. And yeah, like I said, it just, it hurts so bad to die like that. I am not, I am not happy at, at all about that. Our padded armor is kind of taking a crap got no durability left and I'm not gonna bother repairing it though to be honest what's it repair with a repair kit would you ever repair something like that for me I won't I mean we do have enough repair kits but meh not gonna happen not gonna happen for me all right so we got all that now as you can see we need to make up uh, 10 of each of these so they don't take too long to make it's a minute and a half each so we just need Four little chunks of wood. I'm just gonna go ahead and get these crafted up and make it happen. It's not too bad at all getting these cooking quests done. Like I said, you end up with some with some decent food out of it. Uh, so there's really no complaints from me about them. And a lot of it's not too hard to get. I mean, it's basically for the most part you can go around and hit up the vending machines and get almost all of it that you need or all of it. Uh, I think so anyway that's gonna do it for this episode just making some food and then next episode we'll take we'll take a look at the second part of this and we're gonna go out and do some looting we're gonna try not to die on stupid spikes like that again but you know like I said it happened so is what it is we will just move on and you know try not to think about it as much so anyway thank you guys so much for being here I really do appreciate it if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you guys take the time to hit that like button. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you trigger those notification bells so you never miss out on any of the videos. Comment down below what are your thoughts are on me dying to the, to the spikes like that at that trader. And anything else you guys might want to know, go ahead and comment down below. So we'll catch you guys for the next episode. Thank you again.